In 2007, three young Chinese women were prevented from leaving South Korea, even though they had all the correct documentation and had not done anything wrong. Why was that? And in 2007, three young Chinese women were prevented from leaving South Korea, even though they had all the correct documentation and they had not done anything wrong. Why was that? Okay, it's not COVID. It's 2007. It's not COVID. <laughs> Complex bungee cords. They tried. <laughs> get, get being pinged back. I like the practical physical. Um, it's not the correct answer, but I Is like it. Is it not? <laughs> it's not, sadly. Did they think they were spies? Yeah, but you'd kick them out if that was the case, surely. Uh, after an interrogation or two. Oh, true. But they hadn't done anything wrong. Maybe they were suspected of doing something wrong, but even then, I feel like the question is like, no, this is this is a weirder reason. Am I right in thinking there's no border shared between South Korea and China? So it would have to be... No, there's not. North Korea is in the way. Yeah. The clue's in South and North there, really, isn't it? <laughs> so, probably, so this is probably going to have to be taking part at an airport or something like that. Because how are Airport they... or ferry port, I'd guess, yeah. Does it say where, where it's taking place, Sean? No, not specifically. Okay. Um, but they, 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 had the, um, yeah, they had the right to travel on the route that they wanted, if that's any, any Did they ever get to travel on the route they wanted? Yes, eventually. I guess it could also be trains as well, thinking about it. Were they carrying illegal things, like that border control programme? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, but we know they haven't done anything wrong, and that would be on arrival. They've always packed food. They've always packed food. They know not to bring food in. <laughs> if they're too young to travel on their own, they might have documentation that allows them to leave, but they might not have an adult that is allowed to leave with them. Maybe their mother was taken ill or something, so isn't around to, uh, to be able to shepherd them onto the train or plane or, or something like that. That could be a thing. Oh, I can just see them now. I know. Stood there waiting. I'm just hearing, I know that it says they were Chinese and this is in South Korea, but in my head they're like K-pop stars and the the crowd is just <laughs> stopping them physically leaving because they are <laughs> such fans of them and do not want them to go. But I think I've got the countries the wrong way around for that. Um, K-pop is not relevant to the question. Uh, I'll clarify that. K-pop is never relevant to the question. <laughs> we should do something about that. <laughs> you should have a whole episode that's just K-pop themed. <laughs> We haven't done themed episodes yet. It'll, it'll happen at some point. The women have chosen to go to South Korea for a specific reason. To get pregnant. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Like, what? <laughs> <are> you... <laughs> you don't need to go to South Korea for that. <laughs> for medical things. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Like, why do people travel for some? Oh, for some like ridiculous like trial, drugs trial or something, or like medical intervention. You weren't far away. If you are flying then one of the things you can't do in the 24, 48 hours before that is like scuba dive or do something like that because the pressure difference is too great and you could end up with an injury. I suspect not many people go to South Korea for scuba diving, but could it be like some medical thing that they've done that means they can't get on the plane, that it's for their own safety rather than something they've done? So you, uh, you, you, Ruth and Tom, you're both warm with this idea of a sort of um, a medical aspect, um, but they weren't divers, Tom. But is it for their own safety? Like this is... No. Oh, okay. Safety of others on the plane. Have they done something or been like exposed to something? Mm, not quite. Not quite. Oh. But your, your train of thought is heading the right direction, I believe. I think we're going to need another hint here, Sean. Actually, this does clarify the earlier question. Airport staff so we are on an airport, mm -hmm. were unable to carry out one very specific stage of their job. Were they wearing something they shouldn't have been wearing? Or, or that, that, allowed, that meant they couldn't get, like, frisked or in that weird had machine? They, had they left their hat in a, few, in a, in a concord? <laughs> <laughs> no, they couldn't prove their identity for some reason. They couldn't tell... <gasps> their faces! They had facelifts! Well, I was going for fingers, but faces is better. <laughs> they, Absolutely spot on. They'd gone to South Korea for plastic surgery. The faces had changed so much that airport staff didn't think they were the same people. 
No, Tom, I need to explain to you about plastic surgery. It takes a long time to recover. They'll be bandaged. You won't know oh. what your new face looks like. <laughs> this isn't face off. I don't know how this works. <laughs> As you can tell from my face. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're, you, you've absolutely smashed it yeah so they had recently had cosmetic surgery um, and they, their faces were so swollen and covered in bandages they could not be identified yeah they could be anyone you, you, yeah yeah <laughs> so they could leave eventually <laughs> <laughs> so yes they had flown to South Korea to take advantage of the country's burgeoning plastic surgery industry so their faces were swollen and they were covered in bandages um, and the border agent, agents found it difficult to verify the identities of the three women. Um, and in 2009, a very similar situation occurred when 23 Chinese women tried to fly home after um, operations that changed their appearances. Um, and it's estimated that 20% of Korean women under 50 have had some kind of cosmetic surgery. That feels like a Tom Scott video. Oh, no, you don't do those anymore. <laughs> no, it does. do, doesn't, doesn't feel like one of mine there. Mind you, I've had, I've had cosmetic surgery. I've, I've got scar reduction just here because I got a, a nasty hit many years ago. I, you know, here's how long it's been. I pointed to the wrong side of my face there. Um, <laughs> it was very good scar reduction to the point where you can't remember what side of your face what, you got was damaged. It more than, was it more than 25 years? Was it like maybe around the year 2000? 